and welcome back to Drunkle Rob's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make another drink for you. Uh, coffee is generally accepted as pretty okay for gout, if not good for gout. And I've been told and read in a lot of places you can drink as much as you want. Uh, but plain coffee is kind of boring and there are basically two places you can flavor your coffee. The first is in creamer, which heavy cream is not recommended for gout. And the second is for flavoring your coffee in the grounds themselves, which is what we're going to do today. Uh, so the coffee I'm using is this coffee from Vietnam, pretty good. Uh, I'm going to use a French press because if you want to make ground flavored coffee, French press is much better. And actually French press is just easier to clean and better in general. If you're using a traditional coffee pot, I highly recommend switching over. So the first thing is to just fill the bottom of the French press to about halfway up the little black strip you see on the bottom here. Most have that. So, if you have another type of coffee you like, doesn't matter, it's basic coffee. The second thing I'm gonna add today is cocoa nibs. These are roasted cocoa nibs. I'm gonna put about a quarter of a cup in the coffee grinder. And then I'm going to grind it up. Okay, so we have our brown cocoa nibs. I'm just gonna get dumped right here into coffee mix. You can have to use your finger to get some out because even though they are dried nibs, there's actually still a bit of moisture in there. So after you grind it up, the clumps do tend to stick together. But once you put hot water in it, it's all gonna break up inside here and uh, be good to go. So. This gives a chocolate flavor, and if you just want that kind of dark chocolate bitter flavor, you can stop there. What I'm making today is a mint chocolate chip flavor, so I'm going to take this peppermint extract. I'm going to put about six drops in there, because most extracts are very strong, you don't need a lot. So six drops of that. Uh, and then take a spoon, or a chopstick, or whatever, something to just mix it all up. I break up any of the clumps of cocoa nibs. You don't have to, you know, make it all powdery. It's, it's all right. So once it's mixed in, then you just add hot water. So French press, you just fill up the hot water to the top end. You want to take the top and put it in there. It's gonna take about three minutes to steep. Uh, so while it begins to steep, uh, you can't drink cream really uh, on gout. So milk is a little bit more okay. Um, so I've got some milks here in Korea. You can get lots of uh, flavored milks. I mean, this is just regular chocolate milk, but you can also see like banana, peach, all sorts of fruit milks if you wanna experiment with those. I still don't use a whole lot of this, but I'll put a splash of milk in my coffee. Uh, my girlfriend likes chocolate milk, so often puts that in the coffee. Um, that's it, so we're gonna wait three minutes for this to steep, and then I'll pour a glass out for you to see. All right, welcome back from that short break while this steeps. So we're going to push down the plunger here in the French press. Go slowly. I've learned from past mistakes that if you go fast, you'll end up with a lot of coffee on your goop counter. Just push it to the bottom. Okay. Like I said, I use a little bit of milk. Uh, if you want extra chocolate here, you can use chocolate milk, but you don't really need to because uh, there's plenty of cocoa nibs the coffee mix and then it's ready to go the um, french press does keep it warm for a while but it doesn't have a heater base like a you know traditional coffee pot so if you want to make sure it stays warm you can always put it in a bread box or a microwave oven or something like that to keep it warm. I'm generally going to drink this over the next hour and a half it'll be warm enough for the whole time. Uh, I'll give you a, maybe a close-up view there you can see nice light black coffee. And the taste is like mint chocolate chip 
uh, without putting too much cream or sugar additives into it. And uh, that makes it a lot healthier for me. All right, so thanks for watching. See you next time on Drunk Rob's Kitchen.